McDavid. Moves in, McDavid goes upstairs! What a goal! Hey guys, how's it going? It's Etanios here. Welcome to episode number two of this NHL 21 Custom League Draft to Glory No Salary Cap Franchise Mode here in Kelowna at Prospera Place. If you guys are new to this series, are looking forward to seeing what this series has to offer, make sure you go up into the top corner of the video right now, click the card, you can catch up on the last video that you missed. Also, do feel free to drop a thumbs up if you do actually enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. We're trying to hit 1,200 subs, and I know you guys can do that. Anyways, guys, last episode, um, I accidentally had the background audio on for the gameplay or the menu music, um, and that actually caused episode 1 to get demonetized. If you guys go back and check out episode 1, um, that video's already got a lot of views on it, it's doing really well, and I know it's going to be a big video on this channel, which sucks because it means I'm not actually able to make any money off of it. Um, so make sure you guys run this video up too. Also, uh, you know, make sure that you leave comments, even if you're just saying great video, I'm hyped, whatever, cheer your team on, right, in the comments, um, cause that helps, you know, drive more traffic to this video when you guys go down below and blow up the comment section. I really appreciate it when you do. Um, but anyways, the Kelowna Comets got through the draft and the expansion draft last episode as they are going to be the 32nd team in what I'm calling the CPHA, the Canadian Professional Hockey Association, instead of the NHL this year. And uh, it should be an interesting season. Probably not going to be a very good season, but the one guy we have our eye on, obviously, is Eric Sider, um, our second line center at the moment. Fits the lineup really nicely there and has a plus three chem boost with Rodriguez and Shiri. Um, so those guys, again, should be, you know, hopefully producing decent points. Hopefully we'll see Eric Sider grow here, but uh, who knows what's actually going to happen. So guys, nothing else super special about this team really when you look through. It's just a whole bunch of undrafted free agents so far. Um, these guys hopefully, you know, I mean, the guys we drafted hopefully are going to get better quickly. Um, who knows what's actually going to happen as really it's just a crapshoot off the first season or two. Um, I'm really hoping certain guys can do well. But I, I don't know what's actually going to happen here. Um, this will be an interesting simulation for Season 1. And uh, I think we do have to get this scouting first here. That would be the main issue. Um, none of the comments I saw before recording this were really like highlight worthy comments. So make sure you guys, you know, actually go in, put some detail into the comments and you have a very good chance of getting it highlighted if uh, you actually put a meaningful comment down, not just like great video or whatever like obviously i'm not going to highlight every single one of those there are quite a few and i appreciate all you guys don't get me wrong there i really do appreciate those but um but yeah i do want to see some more comments that are actually talking about this series specifically and what we're doing with this team and so on so i'm going to go get this scouting set up here it's going to take me a couple minutes but uh i will be back with you guys once i have everything lined up also if you guys have not yet um, i will leave a link in the description to my uh, scouting and player growth tutorial that i have on my channel um, you guys can go and run that up if you want to you know set up your scouting the same way i do and so on because it really does help find more prospects throughout the season oh okay guys so i've got the trial here or the coach steve peterson Pedersen, however you want to say his name uh, what are your thoughts on Eric Sider? What's the plan for this year? Um, I mean, I think he should be NHL, but I know he wants to hear trial. Um, so, yes. Oh, a nine-game trial is the right option. Yeah, you know, he's just the second best player on our team already. <laughs> yeah, he gets nine games. Don't worry, coach. Don't worry. He gets nine plus the whole other 71 or 9, 71, 73, sorry. I can't do math. Um... <laughs> Anyways, I'm just waiting for scouts to resign here, guys. That's kind of the main thing I'm kind of just sitting here doing. All right, so here they come. All right, guys, so I believe I've got all my scouting set up properly now, except for this one guy who I just have to relocate. That's the only thing. Um, but as you can see with the region efficiencies there, if you caught it, um, these guys are all just fantastic-looking scouts. Um, I believe this guy can WHL. No. 
uh, Central. Yeah, USA Central. That's the one I was looking for. All right. Um, so he's now in the wrong spot, and uh, so it's or he's in the right spot, but Obin or Obin, however you say his name, is not. So we gotta move him back to the CHL, and then my scouts are all located. Okay, so I got all the A plus region efficiencies there now. Finally, um, pretty decent scouts too overall. Only a couple C minus scouts. We'll hopefully improve those over the years. Um. But I actually got to do my scouting, so yay. <laughs> Alright guys, so as you can see, I got all the scouting set up. Um, we're just going to go through a full season, so I'm not really going to stop too much for the scouting or anything. And uh, we're going to see how this team does. But again, I do want to know your guys' opinions and stuff on what you think about the draft, how things are looking. I'm going to show you guys what our draft page is looking like here when I get to the end of the season. I'm going to wrap everything up, go through all the scoring, do all that stuff. Um, but if you guys want me to change my format for the video on how I'm doing them, then uh, please make sure you go down below, put that in the comments for how you think I should you know, format these videos. Um, but, you know, the main goal for this team right now is to, one, tank. Um, we want to be bad and to get a decent pick in the draft for, like, at least the first five to seven seasons. Um, the second goal is to put players in their prime positions. So Eric Sider, for example, plus three boost. Um, we want him to be you know, succeeding, putting up good numbers, even if the team's not winning, we want him to grow. So the second, you know, goal is grow prospects while still losing, I guess. Um, and the third goal is, you know, just get the scouting done, make sure we are as primed as possible for, um, for the actual draft, because that is the only strong suit we can play to right now is how good our scouts are and how good our drafting is. So anyways, guys, um, I do want to just see if we get a peek at the draft class or not, um, and then we will go into a full season sim. All right, so I'm gonna just going to take a quick look at the team here, um, or the draft class. It looks like Atu Ratti is the only guy we really have a scouting report on at the moment. A um, couple other guys that I'm like pretty sure are going to be elite players. Um, yeah, you can see throughout here, it's like, okay, should be an interesting draft, but... Nothing I don't expect. He should be a playmaker, but he might be a sniper as well. I'm not sure. Ocposo is going to be sick. Um, I think I made him a sniper, but he's huge. So, um, anyways, guys, we're going to get through the season simulation here. Um, I'll be back with you guys at the end of the season to show you, one, how the draft is looking and to you know how the team records go and so on um actually before we do that there is one more thing i want to do um i don't know if i can do it here with every team or not or how i'm gonna pull this off um let's see if i go play a game here yes um i want to see the jerseys that is the main thing and I don't think I can see every team's jersey. So obviously you guys can see the Kelowna Comets. They're a pretty awesome looking jersey. Um, I really like them. And I think they're going to be awesome. So I'm going to start. I'm going to go through team by team pretty much. Um, so you guys will get to see the season record for a bit of the season anyways. Until we play every single team. But I'm going to check off team by team uh, which teams you know I haven't showed you guys yet. So anyways we got the Medicine Hat Hounds here. Um, you know, gray, white, and black for the jerseys, uh, interesting colors, and I honestly think they look pretty good too. You guys let me know, you know, which team, uh, jersey is your favorite. And obviously, guys, there are like the, uh, you know, Oilers, Flames, uh, Canucks, Jets, Canadians, Senators, and Leafs jerseys that I'm not going to show you guys because you've seen them so many times before that you don't really need to see them again but i'm going to check off all the new teams in here all right so we've got the shikutami sharpshooters here um an interesting looking jersey and team they, this is the dallas stars jersey um so you know fairly similar to how the dallas jersey looks anyways not much difference between the alternate and the uh home jersey there as you can see but i like the logo especially with the sniper um you know like scope on there it's just it's good all right, so next up we've got the Lethbridge Lumberjacks. And uh, 
you know, a black based jersey color for the team here, but the Washington Capitals get a sick jersey here, in my opinion. Um, especially with the yellow too. Oh, oh, it looks so good. So yeah, I definitely one of my, you know, upper class kind of jerseys that I made out of all of them here. All right, next up we've got the Moose Jaw Monsters, also known as the Winnipeg, Winnipeg, Minnesota Wild. Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, green and red and white. Interesting jersey color mix. I think it actually works though, especially with the logo and uh, the red jerseys, the alternates. I really, I don't want to say I outdid myself, but a lot of the alternate jerseys look I want to say even better than the home and away. So yeah, I don't know. Again, let me know what you think of the jerseys, guys. I love pretty much all of them, especially because I put the work in to make them. But you got the spreadsheet there again. I will link it below again, and you guys can go make these jerseys if you want. So next up, we've got the Brandon Broncos for a jersey. Um, I did actually base this team kind of off of the uh, humble, you know, logo, and it's around that area and everything. So, um, yeah, the Buffalo Sabres get the honor of wearing this jersey. Um, I think it honestly is pretty good. If you wanted to do, like, a Humboldt Broncos franchise mode, you could use this jersey. I wouldn't even be mad if somebody, like, started uploading a Humboldt Broncos franchise mode on YouTube. Just, like, out of sheer respect for what that team, what that organization, what all those families went through. Like, I, I wouldn't be mad. I'd be like, yes, I support this series. So, anyways there are your jerseys for that i think they look fire but that's just again me you know <laughs> just i made all these jerseys what do you expect from me um so yeah that's brandon broncos next up we got the thunder bay thunderbirds i like to say thunder bay because it's just it's such <laughs> it's such a canadian thing but um orange white and black based off of the philadelphia flyers i believe that's claude Giroux, and yeah, they're uh, they're pretty nice looking jerseys. I honestly do like the alternate with the black. Again, one of my favorites is usually the alternate. So, um, yeah, our kind of like main rival, like black and orange esque team there. And uh, you know, they are somewhat similar jerseys, but yeah. So next up, we got the Gatineau Gladiators, and uh, you know, they're based on the Detroit Red Wings here as their roster. Um, so you know, red, white, and black. Um, Detroit would just be red and white, but Larkin looks pretty good in a black jersey there, not going to lie. Um, and yeah, you know, Gatno again, they got a top pick. They got a really good franchise center there in uh, Simons, and we'll see what Simons can do. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the jerseys again. All right, guys, so next up we got the Quebec Nordiques. Um, obviously, the Colorado Avalanche relocated back to Quebec. So let's see their jerseys here. Man, man, they just they look like Quebec jerseys and I did the alternate too if you guys like this alternate let me know again just blow up the comments I, I love it when you guys do and fortunately this video is not going to be demonetized like the first but fortunately I get to show off all the jerseys this time so yeah there's the Quebec Nordiques again let me know your thoughts opinions if you want to go make these again spreadsheet in the description all right guys next up we got the Red Deer Deer um I can't actually remember who we based them on at this moment, but uh, I'll know in a second. So, Red Deer would be based on. Um, now I'm having a brain fart. Oh, it's Arizona. That's Ekman Larson. I was like, I don't recognize this player. Anyways, um, here's their three jerseys again red, black, white kind of setup, but I think they look pretty clean. And uh, for Red Deer, you know, the pun, but yeah. All right, next up we got the Prince Albert Prowlers. Purple team. We only have two purple teams, I believe. Um, and this is one of them. So here you can see their um, home jerseys. And this is the uh, Florida Panthers. So, yeah. Um, really good looking team. Wait, if this is Florida. No way this is Florida, is it really? It is, but I'm wondering, where did Alexander Barkov go? Or is Huberto just their best player now? Um, anyways, that's their three jerseys. I do want to show you uh, just the home jersey again. I didn't really show that one off too much, but uh, I'm, I'm interested now. Where did Huberto go? Or where did Barkov go? Sorry, because Huberto is here as the captain now. 
Oh, Barkov didn't go anywhere. It was just the relocation um, named Huberto the captain because he is actually the highest rated player on the team. So that makes sense. Um, but that's weird at the same time that the captaincy wouldn't stay the same. Oh, well. All right, so next up we got the Windsor Wild Wings uh, Triple W there. And uh, I don't know. They seem to be doing all right as a team record-wise so far. But just orange and white. I don't know what you guys think about these ones. They were... Uh, an interesting look um, to try and do just an orange and white. I pulled it off, but I don't know if it looks that great. Again, let me know your thoughts in the comments. All right, so next up here for jerseys, we got the Victoria Vipers. Um, gray and black, again, somewhat a similar jersey setup to the Medicine Hat Hounds, but I think the Vipers logo looks cooler, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, again, let me know what you think. This is Winnipeg by the looks of it. Or no, sorry, it's Columbus, not Winnipeg, because Line A is in Columbus now. Um, so yeah, that's the Victoria Vipers. All right, guys, so next up here, we've got the Hamilton Tigers. If you don't remember the Hamilton Tigers from my series last year, um, you probably should go watch that series. It was pretty decent. Um, but anyways, here's the Tigers jerseys, the yellow and black, then black and white, and then yellow and black. Um or black and yellow, I guess, for the third one. Yeah, yeah, they look they look really good. And that would be the Boston Bruins there um, as the Tigers. All right, so next up, we've got the Abbotsford Aces. Um, for their jerseys, we are going to be using, or we're going to be looking at the red, white, and black color scheme there. Um, so that's everything but the home. There's their home jersey. I like their alternate personally again um but you know the away jersey looks pretty good too they're all kind of based on the same design but just the blacked out logo on the alternate really looks good all right next up we've got the Sudbury Bruisers here um I can't remember which team uh looks like oh it's the New York Rangers that's Panarin I'm like who is Sudbury again so yeah um interesting color scheme kind of reminds me of the old pittsburgh penguins jerseys like the baby blue um i like it i like it especially with the hockey puck logo hockey puck guy logo i i think it's suiting um especially with panarin's kind of personality especially if he's the captain of the team but anyways the sudbury bruisers all right next up we have the saint john seahawks um this team is based on on the st louis blues um so there you can see their three jerseys i like the dark blue on it especially how it contrasts the only one that's a little weird for the is the alternate on this one the alternate is weird um but yeah st john seahawks so next up guys we've got the oshawa outlaws a green and black and white um jersey set up here i believe this team is based on uh, this team is based on the Nashville Predators, or that's their roster anyways, for now. And uh, yeah, Roman Yossi there sporting a nice Outlaws jersey, and they look good. Next up, we got the Kingston Kings. Um, I bet you guys can probably guess which team this is based on just by the captain there. Um, it should be Kopitar, but it's Drew Doughty because of overall. So yeah, um, my personal favorite is the yellow jerseys just los angeles lakers type jerseys but for the kings you gotta love it so next up we got the moncton monarchs based on the new york islanders uh roster and again if you don't recognize these jerseys what are you doing go watch my nhl 20 um reading royals series because that was a fantastic draft of glory series that's pretty much what this series is based on for our team go watch it like it was a good series there was like 40 videos in that playlist and uh yeah i mean i love these jerseys just personally i love them the purple black and uh white looks so so next up guys we got the saskatoon stampeders uh carolina roster there and a red and white team those are the only two colors on the jersey um nice big s logo on the alternate there just based on how much red there is on all the logos um so yeah, that is, uh, you know, uh, more of a Detroit Red Wings-esque jersey, but I like the Stampeders logo. I think the buffalo on it looks really good. All right, next up, guys, we got the Nanaimo Nailers um, based on the Tampa Bay Lightning. So they're in our division, and I assume they're going to just kill us for like 10 plus years straight. But the gray, yellow, and black 
is a very interesting color combination, and personally, I like it. But again, let me know, guys, what do you think of these jerseys? All right, guys, up next, we got the Halifax Islanders, now Sidney Crosby's team. The Pittsburgh Penguins have been relocated there. And again, if you haven't seen the Highlanders series, go watch it. It got cut short, but it was a good series up to the point where it ended, and uh, the jerseys are fire. Like, they are so good. They are one of the best jerseys I think I've ever made. Um, obviously, it was off a of concept design still, so I'm not going to take full credit for it, but they look good. All right, guys, so for our second last jersey here, I've gone through 23 of them now, I guess. Um, the Regina Redhawks, an interesting jersey based on the uh, New Jersey Devils roster. And uh, I like the black one. Again, I, I always say the alternate's my favorite. It isn't always, but it's definitely, this is a good one here for the alternate. So, yeah. All right, guys, and finally, we've got the Sherbrooke Stingrays based on the San Jose Sharks. I went one too far there. Um, but you can see their jerseys. Interesting looking jersey. I like the blue, again, the alternate. But that is uh, that is it for all the created jerseys I've done. I've done 25 teams in total here, including the Kelowna Comets. Obviously, you guys get to see this jersey all the time too. Um, and you'll get to see it more and more as the team gets better and we get further into the series. But for the first couple seasons anyways, I'm not really going to be showing it off besides this section of this episode. So I'll probably end up titling this episode the jerseys or check out the teams or whatever. Um, but yeah, this was a uh, this was a good little kind of setup to extend this video because it's a weird style of video. It's going to be a short video overall. Um but this helped extend it. Anyways, make sure you guys go down below and comment what your favorite jersey was um, for which team because there are, you know, there's a lot of teams I did, a lot of work I put into it. And again, the spreadsheet is accessible down below in the description if you want to make any of these jerseys for yourself. All right, guys. So to end off the 2020-21 first season simulation, the comments finish with, I believe, an NHL worst. Yep. 25 49 and 8 record for 58 points in 82 games mark giordano leads the comets with 57 points really brutal season overall from the whole team um but eric cider does score 30 goals in his rookie season so that's promising um who knows if he'll shoot up or not but yeah the team was just not good lots of big minuses but cider somehow managed to stay positive and the same with uh, rodriguez so that's not bad uh for goalies 20 wins for talbot in 68 games ouch and then five out of 28 for lindgren that's just brutal all right um so let's go take a quick peek at the entirety of the cpha and uh we are gonna see marchant lead the team or lead the league this year interesting even Connor mcdavid on the oilers just could not really get it done only 107 points marshawn first uh bergeron fourth and pasternak fifth in point scoring so that actually kind of makes sense to an extent um but yeah how many players here one two three four five six seven eight nine players break 100 points not bad your goal scoring leader is Connor McDavid tied with Jeremy Simons. My goodness, he went off. Um, that's just insane. 81 points, 49 goals. So yeah, Simons is absolutely ridiculous. Um, as far as defensemen go, John Carlson puts up 80 points. That's insane. Um, Lots of good defensemen in here, though, like Giordano is in there, too. You'd like to see that. Hughes is already insane at 21 years old. Yeah, geez. Okay, Duncan Keith put up 74 points. Oh, my goodness. All right, for goalies, we see Carter Hart put up a big old 41. Not bad at all. And then for rookie skaters, we are going to see... Simons with 81 just nudge out Kirill Kaprizov. Brutal for Kaprizov. He's probably not going to win the uh, rookie scoring there, or rookie in general um, season. Uh, I 
One question. Was Lucas Raymond not selected by... He's playing on LA. That doesn't look right. Is he not supposed to be on... What? Is he not supposed to be on the, uh... No, that's not right. He's supposed to be on Gatineau. What? What is going on? How did he end up on Kingston? They have what? They have Byfield and... What? Okay, so apparently some things got messed up. I don't know how, but it did. Um, but as you can see here, Edmonton with 99 points, not bad. Uh, but your top dogs are the Gatineau Gladiators. So apparently Jeremy Simons was all they needed to just go off. They didn't even need Lucas Raymond. So that's insane. Um, the Nordiques finished second, Leafs third. All right, so lots of uh, lots of teams that you expect to somewhat be here. Uh, ooh, Ottawa. Oh, 92 points and you don't make the playoffs. And same with Oshawa with 89. That's just bad. That just sucks, honestly. Um, and as you can see here, the Kelowna Comets dead last. Um, so definitely securing the number one odds. The other teams, Carolina. Or no, sorry, that's uh, New Jersey. I was like, Carolina, what? Um, so yeah, like that makes, that makes a lot of sense overall. Is that Montreal? Nope. Montreal, yikes. Ah, uh, that's Columbus. Very obviously Columbus. I'm an idiot. Uh, yeah, okay. So you kind of expected all these teams to finish where they did. So yeah, uh, let's get through the playoffs quickly here and see what happens. Also, sorry, I forgot to show you the AHL. Um, our AHL team, did they put up a decent record? They did, 47-34-1. Pius Sutter leads the team with 69 points um, for a 95-point campaign that just misses the playoffs there. So yeah, too bad for uh, for the Bolts there, but that's kind of what I was expecting first year. All right, guys, so the Nanaimo Nailers are your Stanley Cup champions, and the Colorado Eagles win the... Calder by the looks of it so let's go into the playoffs check out the playoff tree see what happened check out the awards so on all right so Nanaimo goes through Vancouver in six then Abbotsford in six and then Winnipeg in five and then finally Thunder Bay in six Thunder Bay did well too wow uh, they went through Sudbury Toronto and Windsor all right yeah that's uh it was a solid run there for both those teams in the AHL. Colorado goes through everybody pretty easily by the looks of it. And, uh, yeah, Burnaby didn't even make it, so no big deal there. And as far as your awards go here for, obviously, team awards, Nanaimo was uh, the cup winner. The Presidents went to Gatineau. Uh, Nanaimo won the Clarence, and Thunder Bay won the Prince of Wales. So Marchand wins the Art Ross and the Hart. Carlson wins the Norris this year. Um, Tarasenko with the Lady Bing. Simons with the Calder. No question there. Palat with the Conn Smythe. Interesting. Jordan Bennington wins the Vesna this year, as well as the Jennings along with Thomas Grice. Um, Lubomir Hayek wins the Masterton. Uh, the Wild Wings coach goes to... Or gets the Jack Adams, sorry. So that would be Anaheim's coach. That makes sense, actually, because Windsor went way farther than they should have. Kopitar wins the Selkie, Marchand wins the Ted Lindsay, and uh, Simons wins the Rocket. So yeah, Jeremy Simons goes off with Gatineau, and uh, Glad Gatineau had a really good season too. Where did they get snubbed in the playoffs? I'm actually interested in that. Gatineau got snubbed round one by Windsor, so that was an upset, big time. So anyways, guys, I've got all my scouting done. Um, I'm going to go through and just kind of show you guys the draft class, go pick by pick kind of player here. Um, but we're not going to show the lottery this episode. I'm going to troll you guys just a little bit and leave you on the cliffhanger. That's how I'm going to do these episodes uh, to get you guys coming back. 
um, and watch it in the next episode just to see who wins the lottery and where we pick because that should be interesting uh, to say the least. It's going to be very high, highly entertaining. Anyways, um, so yeah, you can see there's some good players in here, like lots of uh, players where it's like could be elites, but probably going to be just like medium top six. Um, sure. Shirakov, I believe is how you say it. Interesting player there. Could be uh, low elite. I'm looking at Hector Ryder as a goalie. He could be interesting. Um, but there's a lot of like strange looking kind of players in here. Where it's like this guy could be good. He could be trash. I don't know. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm still kind of, you know, laying out my picks, figuring out what happens here. But uh yeah, either way, this is uh, this is how it's looking. So anyways, guys, that is where we're going to wrap up this video uh, for the most part. I'm just going to keep scrolling here. You guys can, you know, leave comments below for players you'd like to see us pick possibly. Like, you know, Lucas Robinson looks like he could be good potentially. Um, but yeah, anyways, guys, that's where we're going to wrap it up. If you did enjoy this video, make sure that you go down below, smash the like button. It only takes a second, and you guys don't even know how much it helps out the video and the channel and everything it really makes a huge difference when you drop a like also feel free to subscribe if you haven't we're trying to hit 1200 subs i know you guys can do that and also don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss a video and leave a meaningful comment to possibly get featured in the upcoming episode but anyways guys i think that's where we're gonna wrap it up i'm just gonna finish scrolling up here pretty quick you can see there isn't too much as we get later into the draft, and our latest pick is pick 190. Something around there. Um, probably going to be like 193 or so, but anyways guys, there you have it. That is all the draft class, all the scouting and everything. But that's going to be it for me. This is Etanios, signing out, and see ya!